Hello, angels. We are back with another segment of getting 4k or 4 kills with a random killer. Today with me, I have the Wraith. Uh, my loadout is as such. We are using Bloody Party Streamers because I'm trying to get blood points to pull them into the twins. And yes, we will incorporate them into the series. Alright. So we are in game. You start off indivisible, so it gives you a good advantage to finding the survivors because they cannot see you. They will see a warped movement, uh, kind of like on the map, moving around, kind of like when you're on a campfire or a cookout. And they're here. There's our first survivor. And lucky for us, it's a David. He is loud as shit when he gets hit. He tried to 360 right there. It was a good attempt. Very good attempt. Visible. This David knows I'm behind him. What is this? All Davids? Yeah! Faked him out. That's what that was right there. A little fake out. So within the first, I don't know how long we've been on this, in the first minute we've already got two hooks. The survivors are definitely feeling the pressure. Yep. Sweetheart, don't pull him down. Okay. We call that farming. That's three hooks. Three different survivors, three different hooks. Pop her up here. We gotta start kicking these gens. I can't even begin to tell you which David this is. Oh, here's the other David. Nice use of dead heart. Okay, so they want to trade hooks. That'll work. I don't know why that David dropped the pallet. I guess he thought I was going to leave the other guy on the ground and not hook him. This should be third hook for this David. If not, it's his second. I've already lost count, because when you dress alike, I don't know who's who anymore. I really don't. Third hook. Alright, they got one generator off. I have one death. She wanted to commit to that, Jen. 
I commemorate her for that. That's her first hook. It'd be ideal to go for the Christmas, nice power drop, to go for the Christmas jumper, but the thing is, then we would be considered tunneling, and that's not what this series is about. This series is about getting four kills without tunneling. So, <coughs> I can go for the David. Yeah, waste that pallet. I'll take it. want to hook the David hiding by a pallet that was cute okay so what I want to do is I want to hook this David then I want to go back and kick that gen hopefully we have enough time I hear another injured survivor I didn't think I was close enough for that pallet drop but that's all right We'll just share the points, David. How's that? Okay, I know he's around here somewhere. Here we go. Follow the blood pools. <laughs> and this should be his third hook. Oh, there we go. Now she's struggling. There you go. Now I know the lady and the Christmas jumper is around here somewhere. Okay, she's going for the save. the other one. I know she's around here. I knew it. Okay, this will be Fang's third.
Oh, they tried hard. They were really good survivors, too, if I do say so myself. You guys did good. I'm so sorry I have to kill you all. It is so tough being a killer and doing this segment and having to kill them all, especially when they've done so well. Yeah, we were off to such a good start, so now we gotta find that other survivor. Is she really up on the boat? No. It would help if Bing Bong would stop, like, low growling. I'm so sorry, sweetheart. Oh my god, you guys played so well. You really did. But this is part of a YouTube series where we get 4K without camping or tunneling, so... I had to kill you, I'm so sorry. Oh, they did great, though. They did really great. No one escape, everyone sacrifice. So the Wraith, aka Bing Bong, aka Chicken Legs, is really good to use. I don't understand why more people don't use him like the way that is you know acceptable. I don't understand why they go invisible and camp hooks and camp survivors. There's no reason. There's no reason. It can be a lot of fun just going after survivor after survivor after survivor. And putting a lot of pressure on the survivors. Um, so, real quick before I let you go, YouTube. I will show you my loadout. And um, you can see my build. I use Predator so I can see the scratch marks. I use Bloodhound so I can see the blood pools. I use Shadowborn so I get a little bit bigger vision to see the survivors. And I don't know why, but I threw Noed up there and it was a wasted perk slot because I never even used him. I never even used uh, Noed. And what I was using here was... Um, all seeing blood. You can see survivors 12 meters that are revealed to you. And I used some other kind of pink uh, perk. I think it was that I'm silent when I'm in cloaked mode. So, hopefully you enjoy this. Don't forget to leave a like before you go. Comment. Let me know what other uh, killers you'd like to see. And until next time, be kind to yourself and each other. I love you, angels. Thank you so much for your time. Have a good one.